Hey everyone, a warm welcome to English class. Today we are going to learn a very interesting topic. I am your presenter for today's session, Dimpi Kurana, English Mistress, working at Government High School, Alachar, in District SBS Nagar. The topic for today's session is Verbs. First of all, look at the following pictures carefully. In these pictures, each person is doing something. In first picture, you can see a person is dancing. In next picture, a person is eating. In next picture, a boy is singing. The child is crying. A woman is laughing. And a man is walking. So you can see different Actions are done by them. So these actions are dance, eat, sing, cry, laugh and walk. The words which describe these actions are called verbs. Now let's define what the verbs are. Verbs are words that tell us about an action, occurrence or state. They form the main part of the predicate of a sentence. For example, Ram laughs. The clock strikes. Here you can see that the words laughs and strikes are underlined and they are showing some actions. So these are verbs. From this definition, we can extract that verb is an action. Let's take some examples. He works hard for a living. I bought a book. She danced beautifully. Milk is boiling. Here words works, bought, danced and boiling are underlined. So all the underlined words denote action. That's why these words are called verbs. Our next main topic in verbs is classes of verbs. How we can classify the verbs. There are two main parts of the verbs that are lexical or main verbs and auxiliary or helping verbs. Again, lexical verbs can be divided into action verbs and linking verbs. And again, action verbs can be classified as transitive verbs and intransitive verbs. On the other hand, auxiliary or helping verbs can be classified as modal auxiliary verbs and non-modal auxiliary verbs. Let's discuss one by one. First of all, look at these sentences. Simi dances very well. Ramesh enjoys English movies. Here the words dances and enjoys are underlined and they show action and state of being respectively. These examples are related with our first type that is lexical verb. So what is lexical verb? They are the main verbs of a sentence that carry meaning. Each lexical verb has a meaning of its own that is different from other lexical verbs. A lexical verb can express an action or a state of being. Let's see some more sentences. She is very busy. Here is is underlined and it shows state of being. So it is the lexical verb. Rina goes for a walk. 
here goes shows an action so it is a lexical verb i have no money here have is underlined and it shows state of being so this is the lexical verb he plays cricket here plays shows an action and it is a lexical verb rina was very happy here was is a verb and it shows state of being so underlined verbs are called lexical verbs again lexical verbs can be classified into action verbs and linking verbs first of all action verbs the words that express any action whether it is physical or mental are identified as action verbs they are also called dynamic verbs for example she walks slowly rohan jumped over the fence in both of these sentences walks and jumped show an action so these are action verbs next is linking verbs the words that describe a fact a situation or a state of being rather than an action are identified as linking verbs they are also called static verbs for example the teacher got angry in this case got is the linking verb because it connects the subject teacher to the adjective angry that describes the emotions of the teacher so the different forms of verbs be do and have also act as linking verbs for example she is beautiful here is a links she she is the subject here with beautiful that is compliment sunita has a red car here has links sunita with a red car and a red car is an adjectival phrase sumedha did her homework here did links sumedha and sumedha is subject here with her homework that is noun phrase acting as the object now our next type is auxiliary verb an auxiliary verb is a verb that changes or helps another verb they are helping verb and support the main verb for example rohit is drinking water in this sentence is is the helping or auxiliary verb and drinking is the main verb in next example do they play hockey here do is the helping verb and play is the main verb so auxiliaries can be classified into two parts that are modals and non modals first of all modals they define the mode of action they have special function to perform such as can could will shall should would may might etc they are modals let's take some examples she can do this work dear students can is used here it shows an ability it may rain today in this sentence may is used and it shows possibility on the other hand non modals they are anomalous they help to form tenses and they help to form voice of other verbs there are three types of non modals that are do to have and to be 
These three types have different forms such as do, it includes does, do, did. For example, do not ask me silly questions. To have, it can be used in the form of has, have and had. For example, have you finished your work? To be, its forms are is, am, are, was, were, be, been. For example, I am writing this letter. So, both modal and non-modal auxiliary verbs can combine to make question forms and negative forms as well. Let's do again a exercise. Underline the auxiliary verbs and lexical verbs in the following sentences. The woman is very attractive. Here you have to underline the auxiliary and lexical verbs. In this sentence, is is the lexical verb. She is carrying a handbag. In this sentence, auxiliary verb is is and carrying is the lexical or main verb because it shows an action. I did all that work. Here you have to underline did and this is the lexical verb. He does his duty. Here you have to underline does and it is the lexical verb. The peon rings the bell. Here rings is the lexical verb. This curry tastes awesome. In this sentence, taste is the lexical verb. My grandmother is a kind lady. In this sentence, is is the lexical verb. It has been raining in Shimla since yesterday. Here, lexical verb is raining because it shows an action. And has been are the auxiliary verbs. Next, action verbs. Action verbs can be classified into two parts that are transitive verbs and intransitive verbs. Let's discuss transitive verb. A verb is said to be used as a transitive when it transfers its actions to an object. For example, I write a letter. Here the verb write transfers its action to the object a letter. He is flying a kite. Here the verb flying transfers its action to the object a kite. Hence it is transitive. Next is intransitive verb. A verb is said to be intransitive when it expresses an action but does not require an object to make a complete sense. These verbs may be followed by an adverb or a prepositional phrase. For example, she sings. In this sentence, sings conveys a complete meaning even in the absence of an object. So, it is intransitive. She sings beautifully. In this sentence, you can see that sings is followed by an adverb. Hence, it is intransitive. Let's do practice exercise. Underline the verb in each of the following sentence and tell whether it is a transitive verb or an intransitive verb. First of all, I have already told you that which are the transitive verbs. When verb transfers its action to an object, that is the transitive verb. 
and intransitive verb when verbs express an action but does not require an object to make a complete sense. So you have to underline whether that is transitive verb or an intransitive verb. The first sentence is she advised me to consult a doctor. In this sentence verb is advised and it is followed by an object that is doctor. So it is transitive verb. Let's invite your cousins as well. In this sentence invite is a transitive verb because it is followed by an object cousins. I waited for an hour. In this sentence, waited is intransitive verb because it is followed by prepositional phrase. I received your letter in the morning. In this sentence, verb is received and it is followed by an object that is letter. So it is transitive verb. I am going to send her some flowers. In this sentence, verb is am going and object is flowers. So this is transitive verb. He has changed a lot since he got married. Here verb is has changed and it is followed by an adverb. So it is Intransitive verb. Suddenly the child woke up. Here verb is woke and it is followed by an adverb. So it is intransitive verb. The loud noise woke me. In this sentence verb is woke and followed by an object that is me. So it is transitive verb. Let's discuss your plans. Here verb is discuss and plans is an object so it is transitive verb. I heard a lovely song in the morning. In this sentence verb is heard and followed by an object that is song so it is transitive verb. Dear students, we have done the verbs and its classes. So, we will do now review exercises regarding all the material which we have revised. Exercise number one. Underline the verb and write action if it is indicating action. Being if it tells us what a person is and belonging if it shows what a person has. First sentence is you are a good human being. In this sentence are is a verb and it shows being and it tells us what a person is. The police ran up and down the stairs. He ran is the verb and it shows an action of the police. Sana has long hair. Here has is a verb and it shows belonging. I completed my homework. Here the verb is completed and it shows an action. Ria goes to school every day. Here goes is a verb and it shows action of Ria. My cat has a bushy tail. In this sentence has is a verb and it shows belonging. She is a dancer by profession. In this sentence is is the verb and it shows being. It tells us what a person is. Please open the door. Here open is the verb and it shows an action. 
Exercise number 2. The following words are nouns. Write verbs matching them. One has been done for you. Here nouns are given and you have to match the actions with them. Such as singers and the action word is sing. Painters, the verb will be paint. P-A-I-N-T. Teachers, the word will be teach. T-E-A-C-H. Next is birds. It will be matched with fly. F-L-Y. Water. The verb will be flown. F-L-O-W-N. Stars. It will be matched with shine. S-H-I-N-E. Writers. The verb will be write. W-R-I-T-E. Exercise number 3. Underline the main verbs and circle the auxiliary verbs in the following sentence. His dad is a doctor. Here, is is the main verb. I like western movies. In this sentence, like is the main verb because it shows an action. Dad is reading a newspaper. In this sentence, is is an auxiliary verb and you have to encircle it and reading is the main verb. Ellen dances very well. Here dances is the main verb and you have to underline it. The police are investigating the case. R will be encircled because it is the auxiliary verb and investigating is the main verb and you have to underline it. Shivaji was a great warrior. Here was is the main verb. She married a man of her choice. In this sentence, married is the main verb. Many flowers are blooming in my garden. In this sentence, are is the auxiliary verb and blooming is the main verb. My dog is old now. In this sentence, is is the main verb. The workers are on strike. In this sentence, are is the main verb. I have lost my watch. In this sentence, have is the auxiliary verb and lost is the main verb. Exercise number 4. Mention whether the underlined verb is a main verb or a helping verb. I painted this wall. Here painted is the main verb because it shows an action. You look smart today. Here look is the main verb. Mom left early in the morning. In this sentence left is the main verb. She is a good singer. Here is is the main verb. You are behaving in a strange manner. Here are is an auxiliary verb. Do you have a pen? Do is the helping or auxiliary verb and have is the main verb. I have forgotten your name. Here have is an auxiliary verb. I am very fond of my kid sister. In this sentence, am is the main verb. I am leaving for Delhi tonight. In this sentence, am is an auxiliary verb. Rajputs were brave fighters. In this sentence, verb is the main verb. Many battles were fought by Mughals. In this sentence, were is the helping verb. Exercise number 5. Decide whether the underlined verbs are transitive or intransitive. As we have discussed, transitive verb is that which transfers its action to an object. 
and intransitive verbs express an action but does not require an object to make a complete sense. So first sentence, she was crying all day long. It is intransitive verb. We showed her the photo album. It is transitive verb because it is followed by an object photo album. The doctor advised me to exercise regularly. This is transitive verb. It was raining at that time. It is intransitive verb. She laughed at the joke. That is intransitive verb. She gave a cookie to the child. Here gave is transitive verb. They slept in the street. Slept is intransitive verb. I ate the cherries. It is transitive verb. The father does not drink coffee. It is transitive verb. He always keeps his money in a wallet. And here keeps is the transitive verb. So dear students, we have done the topic verbs and its different kinds, its uses. Hope you fully understood the whole topic. Let's take a review. In nutshell, you can say that a verb is a word or a combination of words that indicates action or a state of being or condition. A verb is a part of a sentence that tells us what the subject performs. Verbs are the heart of English sentences. Hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you so much for being with. Have a very nice day.